Welcome. Let's talk about key points when initiating airway pressure release ventilation, or APRV. So first we will talk about the definition of severe ARDS. The next thing we'll do is clarify some of the terms, starting points for each of these values, followed by sedation requirement, and then ABG. Alright, let's get started. First of all, uh, for background on mechanical ventilation in patients with ARDS, I refer you to the uh, to a mechanical ventilation on ARDS segment of video. Uh, so let's get started with severe ARDS definition. It'll be a PaO2, FiO2 ratio of less than 100. So in these cases, usually your volume control ventilation and pressure control ventilation you're on may not be as effective. You may want to initiate uh, APRV. So let's talk about the terms now. So there are a few terms that you need to consider. One is the P high or pressure high. Next is P low or pressure low. So on a pressure time graph over here, when you're looking at the ventilator, you'll see a pressure low here and a pressure high here. As opposed to regular mechanical ventilation or regular mode where you have an inspiratory time that's shorter followed by a prolonged ventilatory time. When it comes to when it comes to um, APRV, what happens is this mode is then flipped on the head. You actually have a much longer inspiratory time and a much shorter expiratory time. So the P high would represent the inspiratory time here. And this is the P high. While P low will be the level here where the patient's during the expiratory phase. So I'll clarify that in a little while as well. So P high is a pressure high and P low is a pressure low. The next term would be T high, which is the time that the patient's at the P high level, and T low, which is the time that the patient's on the uh, on the P low mode. So again, looking back at the uh, pressure time graphs over here, if you see that over there, that over there, that would be your T high time, okay, and this would be your T low time. So where would you normally start off? What are your default settings, I guess, if you want to call it that? So the starting points in most of this, uh, most of these uh, vent modes, or at least in APRV, is using a P high of around 28 to 32, and a P low of zero. The reason is, in APRV, it's a form of inverse ratio ventilation. So like I mentioned earlier, instead of having a, a, a short inspiratory time and then a prolonged expiratory time, you're increasing the inspiratory time to allow for increased functional residual capacity, which will also then translate into increased mean airway pressure. So these two here will aid in oxygenation. So the whole idea is, like I mentioned earlier, is to increase FRC and increase mean airway pressure. So what happens is that you have a P high of, let's say, 28 to 32, and a P low is usually set at zero because the idea is when the patient's at such a high level, because of the short time of the uh, T low, the time on low, the patient actually doesn't have time to go down to zero. But you set it at default at zero to allow for maximal decompression of the lungs. And the T high time would be generally been four to six seconds, and your T low time would generally be set at around 0 0.6 seconds. I generally start the patient off at around 5 to 5.5 seconds. That's my general uh, default start off mode. And again, my T low is usually about 0 0.6 seconds. So that's it. So you have your T high, T low. We've also gone through your P high or your pressure high and your pressure low. Now take note as well in your pressure high. In patients who are morbidly obese who have any ch or chest wall deformities and so on, that increases the the thoracic uh, thoracic or reduces thoracic compliance, chest wall compliance due to maybe it's tissue or edema and so on, you may need to increase your P high up to a value about 35 is usually recommended as well in these patients. Next thing we're going to talk about is sedation. 
The beauty of the APRV as compared to regular inverse ratio, which is what we're talking about inverse ratio in the sense that you have a shorter inspiratory time and a longer expiratory time. In inverse ratio, you actually have a longer inspiratory time and a shorter expiratory time. But in in reverse, uh, in APRV, the beauty of it, beauty of it is, as opposed to regular inverse ratio, you actually also allow patients to take their spontaneous breaths. So they're allowed to take their own breaths even at P high, and they usually don't have enough time at P low. But this is what what's magical about APRV is that they're allowed to do that. So you want to minimize sedation to allow them their own spontaneous breath. The beauty of the spontaneous breaths is that one is they allow they, they they regulate the amount of hypercapnia that usually occurs as a result of having a much shorter expiratory time, but the spontaneous breaths as well increase uh, or help with hemodynamics. Um, it allows for your uh, return of your preload, uh, and it also gives uh, changes in terms of hemodynamics. So I think it it has a twofold improvement here, and you know the recruitment of the lungs as well in terms of spontaneous breathing event, uh, breaths or spontaneous breaths is crucial in these patients with ARDS. So definitely what I'd suggest is minimizing sedation. So you allow patients to take their own spontaneous breaths during APRV. And the ABG that comes from it as well, I recommend getting in about one to two hours out. And the reason is because of these changes that occur, the CO2 doesn't really, the CO2 that increases will take a long time as, as, as the expiration time has re been reduced. You need your CO2 time to go up gradually and you may not, when you do it in, in your usual 30 to 45 minutes in normal regular vent modes, you may not actually see the peak of CO2. So I normally get it about an hour to two hours out as long as they're hemodynamically stable, as long as I find that their saturation monitor as well is somewhat reliable with good waveforms. Uh, that's about it. So to recap, today we spoke about the APRV mode we spoke about the definition of uh, severe ARDS that usually should trigger the need for APRV, uh, the terms as well involved, the starting points of P high, P low, T high, and T low, along with uh, minimizing sedation, and then the need to get the ABG. All right, thank you.